In London, time has run out for Big Ben. Now, the clock behind me has been working continuously for 150 years now, and that's taken it through extremes of weather, storms, the London Blitz during the Second World War. In the time of humans, the clock had to be wound three times a week, a task that took two royal clock mechanics several hours to complete with the aid of an electric motor. If there are no people around, within a matter of days, the clock will stop working for the first time in 150 years, and the chimes will stop chiming. The clock stops, but the tower remains, at least for now. Due to a construction quirk, it has always leaned 8.6 inches to the northwest. A lean that will get worse over time. In London, Big Ben is covered with vegetation. Its windows have blown out and chunks of decorative stonework have chipped away. The top of the tower has always leaned 8.6 inches to the northwest. Over decades, with no humans to manage the water level in the Thames, the river continually floods the surrounding banks, slowly rotting Big Ben's foundations. After, say, 100 years or so, the tilt within the tower will increase and gradually the tower will become more and more unstable until finally gravity takes over and the tower itself collapses into the ground. <laughs> 